So hi and welcome to another episode of Feature Fridays. Uh, my name is Guy Bartram. I'm the Product Marketing Director for Cloud Director and Portfolio Products. And today I'm joined by Thomas Paulson. Uh, Thomas, do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, yeah, I'm Thomas Paulsen from uh, Aquinet AG in Germany. We are a cloud and outsourcing service provider, mainly for the mid and enterprise market. Excellent. We've got a uh, new cloud director uh, offering that we can view today. Excellent. And yeah, your offering is called Flex, is it not? Yes, yeah, Flex VCD. Excellent. All right. Okay, well, part of the, uh, well, the, the reason you're here today is, thank, one, thank you very much for joining us uh, and agreeing to kind of demo the, uh, the content you have. Um, we're going to be talking about multi-factor authentication and how VCD can uh, relay authentication requests through SAML to Active Directory and where then you can use your Active Directory um, as your um, multi-factor authentication mechanism to um, uplift that authentication to the VCD from the tenant portal. Yeah. Okay, well, well, let's dive straight into it, Thomas. So this is something that I know a lot of uh, a lot of customers certainly will use because, you know, virtually all customers have uh, Azure Active Directory and uh, it's a great little add-on, I think, for service providers to be able to configure in, in VCD. Yeah, it's uh, one of the features that um... I think all of the customers are requesting is uh, how do I secure my uh, tenant in the VCD portal? How can I uh, make the access easier for my colleagues uh, to get into the portal? And uh, the the connection via SAML to the, in this case, an existing Azure AD is uh, pretty simple okay. and a proven product. So uh, it's easy to use. Brilliant, brilliant, okay. Yeah, I can just share my screen and show you what a customer would have to do to get the uh, his uh, Azure AD authentication integrated into his VCD tenant portal. So I'll share my screen. Okay, let's just, let's just say um, I've created for this demo, I've created a new tenant in our VCD portal and uh, nothing has been done yet. I'm logged in as the org admin for this tenant and I want to enable the SAML authentication and I'm just going to the uh, SAML configuration page. Um, first thing you have to do is provide an entity ID in the VCD. We've always just, we just took the metadata URL um, that worked best for us and paste it in there. Mm -hmm. So that's the part in the VCD configuration. Um, what I have already done in the Azure portal is I've created a non-gallery uh, enterprise application. Yep. Nothing else has been configured yet. So first step would be to um, add the users which uh, would be allowed to log into the VCD portal. Of, um, in our case, the, the sync tool uh, to the Azure AD, which syncs our AD with the Azure AD is uh, of an older version. So that means you can, you could use groups, but you would have to use the group UID from the AD in the VCD to um, enable access instead of the group name and the SAM account name of that group. It's uh, not that nice. So for demo purposes, I'll just uh, use my user account. Of course, the advantage with doing the groups is then you would just add users to the group and they'd automatically be um, using that multi-factor authentication uplift. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So I've now just enabled access for my user for this enterprise application. Mm -hmm. Next step is to set up the single sign-on using SAML. Um, you first have to upload a metadata file, which is oh, the, um, the... So next step after assigning the users or groups is to set up the single sign-on, uh, in this case using SAML. Um, you have to upload a metadata file, which is an XML file that's provided via your VCD portal. Mm -hmm. So we just copy this link. Hit the upload button. 
paste the URL. And add the metadata file. So all of these, the identifier ID, uh, the reply URL and so on are automatically filled out. Okay. We save the configuration. Mm -hmm. No, we'll test it later. Because the next step would be you would have to um, edit the user attributes and claims according to the uh, Cloud Director um, documentation yeah. on the VMware portal. I've prepared some things you have to add. You've got to add the group claim, which in our case is not used, but I'll add it anyway. Um, next would be, you would have to tell the claims where it will find the username in the request. Okay. It's going to use the email ID, right? From the attribute. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think it's user.mail. Let's just check. Yeah. Yeah. Next one. Next one would be the roles. There it is. Mm -hmm. So now that we've edited the attributes and claims, we are pretty much done. We just have to download the Federation metadata XML, go to the VCD tenant portal, click edit again, get to the identity provider, enable the use of SAML, and upload the XML that we just downloaded. There it is. And that should be it. Okay. So if I now add a user or import a user from the AT, which is the one I just added to the Azure Enterprise application. I'll just make myself org admin too. Now I should be able, if I use another incognito tab. Nope, it has taken my user, which I've already used. <laughs> Let's just log out. <laughs> log in with single sign-on. And I'm already logged in as Thomas Pauls in Aquinet. So this is the user that we just imported. If I now log out and let's say I'm on an unsecure public network and I want to sign on with a single sign on the uh, login from the Azure AD gets into play. I just enter my password and it's asking me for a code which you get uh, via the authenticator app or SMS or uh, I think hardware token could be used too. Depends on the configuration of the Azure AD. Right, right. Yeah, so right. now I'm logged in, let's say from a public network, unsecure network with my AD account in the VCD tenant portal. Brilliant. And that's pretty much all there's to it. <laughs> nice and simple. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, I love it. I love it. That's fantastic. And uh, what a great way of securing, yeah. creating uh, existing ADs. Just, just one thing though, you had to actually create the, the user, uh, your user ID in BCD, right? To, yeah, to I had to import my user. Um, this would be, um, if you would use groups, you would just have to import a group once in the groups tab. Yeah. And from that moment on, every user who's joined to that group would automatically get access to the VCD portal. Right, okay, yeah, that makes a lot more sense, yeah. And is there any refresh involved, or does that do that automatically at time of login? For what? A new user added to the group. I think it's at the time of login. Yeah, 
Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. We've not we've not noticed any delay in, in configuration when you changed something in the AD and it synced to the Azure AD. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much instant. Right. Brilliant. Only thing you you would have to uh, keep an eye on is the uh, SAML configuration has a certificate, which expires. So. Um, I'm not aware of any automatic uh, replacement of this one. Yeah. So you would have to uh, yeah, create a, an entry in your calendar, a reminder, and uh, regenerate this certificate from time to time. Um, after you've regenerated the certificate, you would have to re-download the metadata XML into Azure AD again. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But all of this is, is, those are all tasks the uh, tenant admin can do himself. Yeah. Oh, I see. So the tenant admin could actually do this himself. That's quite handy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good. So the service provider doesn't necessarily need to worry about it, only know that it's going to happen. Exactly. Brilliant. It's been really, really interesting to see us, Thomas. And uh, thank you very much for showing us. It makes You're welcome. a lot of sense and um, really, really, <laughs> yeah. Much simpler than I thought it would be, which is fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Once you get a hang of it, it's pretty, it's pretty fast, the configuration. Um, one thing I'd like to add is you can, uh, this uh, SAML authentication can also be used uh, for you as uh, the provider to secure your own uh, provider access to the BCD portal. Yeah. So when you're in, in, on your company network, you can just use single sign-on and don't have to rely on username and password that much. Yes, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Thomas. Really appreciate your time today. And um, yeah, I hope it uh, goes well with your Flex VCD service. Thank you. <laughs>